When people think of civil engineering, they think of building bridges or other structures. But at MIT, we like to do things with an interesting twist. I'm Justin Chen, a graduate student in Professor Bukestrick's lab for infrastructure science and sustainability. We work on something called structural health monitoring, where the goal is to measure and track the motions and vibrations of a building that can tell us something about its structural integrity or health. What does the health of a structure mean? Let's think about some things we measure to track our own health, like breathing or heart rate. One way to do this would be to stick a bunch of sensors on ourselves, but that can be invasive and in some cases harmful. I work with a group in CSAIL that developed a method called motion magnification for visualizing small color changes and motions in videos. What you've been watching for the last couple of seconds is a still video of me. I can use motion magnification to accentuate the motion of my chest and shoulders due to my breathing. I can also magnify the color changes in my face due to my heart beating and measure that signal to see that my pulse was 64 beats per minute. Similarly, if I wanted to measure the health of a structure, I'd like to know its resonant frequencies, mode shapes, and response to forcing, properties that are dependent on its geometry, material properties, and environmental conditions. Here is a video of the end of a plastic pipe being struck at the top by a hammer, with the experimental setup shown at the left. From this video, I can extract a motion signal and look at the resonant frequencies of the pipe. I can also motion magnify the video to see its mode shapes and how the pipe vibrates. To tackle big engineering problems, we can take videos of big structures too. Here's a video of a vertical lift bridge in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, as the center deck comes down and vibrates the bridge. From the video, I can extract the resonant frequencies of the bridge and they compare well to a previous measurement made with a contact accelerometer. Here's the sequence motion magnified around 2.46 Hz, the second resonant frequency, with a magnification factor of 400. This shows torsional motion that is potentially important for seeing how the bridge reacts under more extreme conditions. I hope this video has given you a taste of how motion magnification can enable big engineering from small motions.